All right, guys, and for today's log, we have Greymon. And most of you will know who is Greymon. Greymon, let's take a look at his etymology to start with. Um, apparently, its origin of his name is just the adjective grey, which means old or ancient. So it's referring to an ancient Digimon. But yeah. If you look at the original artwork of Greymon, it actually looks a little more edgy. Uh, it doesn't look like the anime version. Um, yeah, it's it, it looks a little more ferocious. I think for the anime, they seem to make it a little less, you know, uh, how do I put it? Looks a little less menacing. It's still intimidating, don't get me wrong. It still looks strong, but it looks more... Yeah, less menacing than the original artwork, but I actually like the original artwork. And we'll see even more of that when we reach Metal Greymon in the next log. So yes, we are making progress. I'm looking forward to Greymon evolving to finally Blitz Greymon. Let's check out its profile on Digimon.net. So, Greymon. A dinosaur Digimon with skin hardened into a protective carapace around its skull. Aggressive by nature, Greymon uses its sharp claws and colossal horns as lethal weapons. Taming it earns you an intelligent ally of unmatched strength, so it's supposed to be very strong. Its special move is Mega Flame, by which it shoots searing flames from its mouth incinerating all it's really cool interesting profile um fun fact it mentioned skin hardened into a protective carapace around its skull um specifically if you look at the original japanese translation and wikimon is a great source for that it actually mentions rhinoceros beetle like shell and that is a very interesting call-out because this is something that I like to draw in terms of parallel between version 1 and some of the later versions. So if you look at our version 2 counterpart, some of these evolutions are going to be very related. Also, the Digimon designs are actually very related. So Greymon, his counterpart equivalent on the version 2 is actually Kabuterimon. Kabuterimon is one with a rhinoceros beetle design. So it is quite interesting that they specifically mentioned the rhinoceros beetle like shell on its head, the brown part of its head, um, because that is clearly a call out to how Kabuterimon is going to be designed. And of course, some of the version 2 Digimons are very clearly designed to be counterparts to the version 1 Digimon. And we'll talk more about that as we get through more Digimon within version 1. Okay, but enough of its profile. It's exciting. Let's take a closer look at its sprite animation, shall we? Alright, and here we have Greymon in digital flash oh my goodness look at that i think it looks amazing i've mentioned this before the texture actually matters and i think and it, this time they really did it very well for greymon it looks really better than i expected so honestly like i said in the earlier log i wasn't very enthusiastic about digimon color i mean i'm excited that there's a new device to play with and but i really wasn't expecting much because I've seen coloration of Digimon sprite that was 16 by 16 and like the D1 Grand Prix was done that way or Digimon version Digimon World 1 on the PlayStation had some colored sprites as well but it wasn't done that nicely but this looks very different like you can actually see the Greymon popping from the screen because of the texture and even the eyes the, eye, the eyes has the eye has that little white glimmer that makes it look like how it does in the artwork. 
So I think it's really done very well. I'm really impressed Bandai and I'm actually looking forward to the next color iterations. Heck, I'm looking forward to playing version 2, which I have and I'll open up soon once I'm done with version 1 or at least send Omega Mon Alter X because I need to get the version 2 for that. But I'm really excited and I can't wait for version 3, 4, 5 when it's available. Anyway, let's go down to it. He has a couple of stats to fill. Good to feed some meat. I do want to get some meat down. So, and let's do some training. Alright, check out the fireball. Oh my goodness. It looks so good. Alright. I might not be getting the best. Um, shots down. This training might not be optimal. But heck, I can do one more shot. Look at how good Greymon is. Alright, he's happy, he's happy, he's happy. Let's get down a little bit. Oh, angry animation. Oh, he's angry, it's alright. Any other day, you're happy, that's great. Good job, good job, Greymon. Did well. Alright, this is a Greymon. He has full strength. And remember, like I mentioned in the earlier log, he is born of a traitor egg. That means he gets twice the bonus for full strength. So this is his virgin battle. He has not battled anything so far. His victory rate is 0%. Let's see how well he performs. Alright, he's up against Betamon. Let's see. Boom. He is very likely to win this match because firstly it's champion against rookie. Secondly, it is a vaccine against virus. But I really don't want to jinx it. Let's hope the RNG stays on our side. My goodness, and I literally just jinxed it. I just said that he's gonna win and look at what's happening. Seriously. Alright, he won. No, 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 not yet, not yet. We don't know yet. Because see what's the last round. What's the outcome? Alright, oh, you won, thank goodness. You won your first battle, and it's supposed to be the easiest to expect, but you struggle, Greymon, why? Anyway, um, you know, RNG is RNG. That's how Banjo Mamimon somehow defeated Omega Mon Alter F with attribute disadvantage, with stats disadvantage, and he still won by some luck. So bad luck can happen as well guys. That's how RNG works. Maramon, Greymon. Alright. Odds are slightly stacked against us because Maramon is a data type. So he could win this match against Greymon. I was worried about this. Right, let's see how that goes. Alright, you dodged it. Good job Greymon. Let's see how well it goes. Come on, come on, come on, come on. One more shot. And it's landed. Good job, Greymon. You won all three battles. That's three battles. We need another 12 more for the evolution. But good job there. And I think that's it for battles. Let's take a look at the last few animation we want to document. I want to make it a habit to capture some evening shots as well. Oh man, this is night time. How do I get evening shots? I think it should be after 4 p.m. Let's try that. 4 p.m. Alright, that's 5. Nice! Evening shots. And one more animation to capture is saying no. How does Greymon say no? Oh, it looks cute. That's how he says no. Say no again. Oh no. Alright. All right, get it. You want to say no. Okay. And then it's time to put him to sleep. And as expected, Greymon gets the Tatami treatment. So that's Tatami treatment count three. We have Seedramon, Agumon, and Greymon that gets Tatami treatment. The rest of Digimon do not get Tatami treatment so far. 
We'll keep counting and see who else gets tatami treatment when it comes to bedtime. So we have three Digimon so far that is worthy of the tatami. Alright, but that's it. This concludes, I think what's, what's the count now? 8th log, 8th log of the Digimon Color version 1. And it's been great so far. Otherwise, if you like what you watch, don't forget to hit like and subscribe with Mega Flame. Otherwise, thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.